Great show. Great way to kick off the year. Boys. Where are we going to be next? Your mouths. Oh, oh, nice. <laughs> the problem with YouTube is that's an oral agreement. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a contract. LA was good. We uh, a lot of love and support. Our line, there were people that waited like four to five hours. Sold out on like 40 to 50 percent of inventory by day one. No, more, like 60 percent. Great show. Great way to kick off the year. Boys. Where are we gonna be next? Your mom's. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> I think we promised the Chicago show, so we gotta deliver. Next confirmed is Sydney, Australia, April 12th that weekend. And then after that, we've got confirmed body power. I think like the same, like 12, 13, 4, whatever for, for uh, in England. We need to kind of get some some more stuff in the States, especially Chicago on the calendar in between that. Problem with YouTube is that's an oral agreement. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's, that's a, that's a contract. Lofty goal, I like it. Good luck, sir. How are we looking on uh, restocks, products? All legend flavors should be restocked at the end of this week too, so I guess, yeah, by the time this video comes out and last week. Cinnamon cereal milk is on track, even though we somehow pulled that. Natural cereal day? Out of it's nowhere. Happening. It's happening. <laughs> National yeah, cereal. happening. Bold. Well, the final flavor yeah, is booming, so did a great <laughs> job bringing that all together. I'm excited for that, but if it's not National Cereal Day, then I just... It's happening on National Cereal Day. It's just happening. like the Chicago event's happening. What about the, the excitement of finalizing a summer seasonal? We got something ahead of time. Share that with the world, heck yeah. You know how many like comments I ever <laughs> respond, I've ever responded to on YouTube because people are like, what happened, to, what happened to coconut, what happened to coconut? And I'm like, hey, like this is the issue we have with the flavor. This is the issue we had with the salt last year. The timing got tight, so we just said, we scrapped it. But yeah, coconut ice cream happening this summer, sick. Shanghai was good, it was productive. Um, I would compare last week to basically like the week before like Christmas and the holidays here. Like so everyone's kind of in 50% work mode, 50% like having kind of company party mode. Although there's this tradition uh, in China where at your company party, basically the team members perform for everybody like skits, right? And then like a couple of the lead tables actually have scorecards and you literally judge the skits and like the best skits will win like kind of like prize money, but I think there's a lot of pride, like people really care, but like some of this stuff was so legit, it was pretty insane. Like that could be, that could be you. Like that, that's literally like CJ, CJ and Ricky. Like that's it, that's a team member skit. I gave that one very high marks. And then there's this dude, he literally like put a, uh, a like a, a, a plastic glove or whatever. I saw it. That was yeah, on his face. He's inhaling through his mouth and exhaling through his nose. It was it was insane to see like again like how much pride went into it. Um, because I know like if we did that here like you'd be cracking up the whole time or not taking it seriously. So that was that was kind of cool. I, they, they you know they have this like Chinese look, liquor stuff and the next thing you know like you're karaokeing like Natalie and Bruglia at 4 a.m. <laughs> um, I might have sent him a video by accident, so if it ends up on the channel, that's my bad. Wide awake and I can see the perfect sky is um, And then actually really exciting, I uh, had a couple meetings regarding like getting set up to actually start selling in some of the Chinese marketplaces, which would be pretty cool. So I think we've been, been kind of brainstorming some strategies and how we could do something really special. Again, global brand, local approach. I think it'd be really cool to apply some of this, you know, like, you know this uh, popular products and cool products uh, from the States, but also maybe do something a little more tailored to the market there. I think that could be pretty cool. So, Shady and Quiler, Happy New Year. Happy Chinese New Year. Bang. Yesterday, even though our flights got canceled, we had a really productive meeting um, with some new potential partners on the apparel merch side. So I think we're finally gonna kickstart like a monthly apparel and merch program. 
uh, which is something I've wanted to do for a long time. So Shaker of the Month's been awesome. I want to do more on the apparel and merch side. It's deja vu, man. Back at it. Back to the airport, to Houston. Bro, after all these years, you're finally living, living a little bit of that, that damn life. Damn life. It's not all it's cracked up to be, kids. Jet set life. Yeah. We're also wearing matching Ever Forward bombers. Shout out. You sick. Using my code, Ghost Dan. Ghost Dan. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Hey, how are you? I'm doing good, freezing in uh, Chicago. So look, um, I've got some good news, bad news on this, and I kind of want to know if there's been any update really from GNC side. In early March, we're launching Ghost Burn, which is basically a powdered, powdered iteration with some serious upgrades over what was Ghost in, uh, Infrared. Um, we really designed this thing with the Australian and New Zealand markets in mind because powdered thermogenics are a big category there. The bad news of that uh, is we are using citrus orantium in it. You know, look, from my position is very well researched, very effective, and very safe ingredient. I understand it's banned by the NFL, so GNC kind of has taken a stance on it, but that's kind of what we're launching specific to that market. Uh, we, we are planning to have it available in like super limited quantities on our website, but if it's something that you can work with now, I mean, we'd love to get it there. It's still like a, I mean like it's not advanced by the FDA by any means, but I guess we're just taking the stance that we're just bearing on a set of caution, which I think the customer is very aware, you know, how they feel with that ingredient versus not having it. I'm hoping they'll change their mind, but you sure. know. A lot of our competitors, you know, water stuff down just for a globally compliant formula. Our strategy's been like, no, if synephrine's a no-go with our big partner here in the U.S., but it's the best possible ingredient for the product in Australia, we're going to use that. And then, like, with Legend as an example, we use Rewolfia for you guys uh, and here in the U.S. because that's a completely, you know, fine ingredient per GNC standard. So it, it's more work on our side. It makes supply chain a little more complex, but I think it gets the best product for the customer. You ever seen that scene in Cool Runnings where they're standing outside and he's like, Hey Sanka, what you smoking? Sanka man, what you smoking? I'm not smoking, I'm breathing. Back at the airport, heading to Houston. I love Houston. This time of year. Um, <laughs> yeah, we well, to see Christian, Max. Ryan, where are you going? Moms. Oh boy. Dude, just peep That's right. about CJ, one minute. CJ, CJ does that sometimes. Yeah. Just, yeah. Nice LED lights. Remember the old warehouse? Oh, yeah. Like yellow. So in theory, it's kind of like Max's overflow outfleet. And then really, like, my, my thing would go all the way down. Just like enough room for, like, one line of... Over, over next door, we have the three stack pallets, you know? Like, the you can go up three times. So we'll probably put one full row of that all the way down and then just have like more packing, more picking right here. All right, so season season three, CG, season three. CG collab. With a Z, season with a Z. Season with a Z. Yeah. I know Dan brought some packaging concepts to take a peek at. It's not great, I don't wanna take it out of my bag. We should take it out, see the starting point. <laughs> Square one. With you, we, we, with you, we did what? We did gloss black year one. Yeah. Last year we did kind of gloss white. white. So I was thinking if we did something in the pearlescent packaging with a hint of blue, Kind of the CG blue that could be cool. I feel like if you just give a build that, I'm playing footsies with Ryan. That <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah wow. I, was I, think, I think this, yeah, this is ideal blue, like this tone, I would yeah. say, like a turquoisey kind of blue. But I think that mixed with like silver, mixed with black, mixed with white, or maybe just like 
kind of, I like how on Max is you had like a color palette and like on the stuff I've seen for like certain proteins, like the co coconut ones, so there's sure. like palettes. Mm -hmm. I really like to put a palette together. I want to do this year with like kind of your formula, some of the kind of ideas that we got to like whiteboard or whatever. I think yours is actually going to go in the larger canister. I think it's going to go in the like, one we use for our amino canister. But before any of that, like the most important part is going to be what we want to do in the formula. And I think we kind of talked about in the past, we kind of took the core legend formula and then added like an extra caffeine boost for you. But I think this year we're talking about doing something a little more out of bounds. We lock in some concepts and then we move to some flavor dev, et cetera. By that point, you're going to kind of have started summer shredding, which yeah. is great. Cause summer shredding will end. It's end of March and then for me, it'll be like mid to late June. That's kind of the end of it for me personally. But you're going to be so, able to kind of like beta sample the yeah. actual product and right. lock in kind of your final things, like almost like pre or like right before or during the early stages of summer shredding with then the actual collab rolling out right at the end. I think, yeah, May, just because then all of, I could be on the yeah. 22nd, I'm going to be doing myself. So like that last, like th really like the last like five weeks, I'm actually like shredded as yeah. like being able to have my final product. I wonder if bringing the original lemon lime back in a completely new product is the move. Yeah, because so it's, it's just a, like that's a it's a great I, flavor. I don't know. Like I don't want to do a fruit punch. I don't want to do like any like. I, I feel like for me, it, I, I I like lemon lemonade, lemon lime. So it's all kind of in that lemon mm -hmm. kind of field. Oh, as far as this as far as this formula goes, and just in general, right? Everybody looks at total caffeine as the way they rate or rank the strength of like the stimulant base or energy in a product, but really Rewolfia is alpha yohimbine. So basically it's yohimbine that doesn't have kind of the anxiety type side effects. That's a stronger stimulant than caffeine in the formula. Mm -hmm. So everyone looks at this, but really this is kind of what's stronger. So definitely this year, and look, anytime you power something 300, 400 or more caffeine, you get a crash. Yeah. But some of these other stimulants with kind of longer curve effects, you know, have less crash and actually better other kind of effects with it. So in the back of my mind, I'm just picturing that clip where Christian's like, Dan's always talking about new and green. <laughs> <laughs> For my perspective of something about Dan, he literally never shuts up about this pre-workout stuff, I mean, about these formulas. It's all he talks about. He lives and breathes it. So number one, there's definitely going to be citrulline in the product because citrulline, in my opinion, is the best um, like nitric oxide pump ingredient that there is with the exception of do we want to go with a nitrate at all? Right now, the only ghost product that contains nitrate is ghost pump. No matter what, I'm going to be like, personally, I'll be taking the pump product with it. Right. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> I'm going to take all three, all four sometimes. Let's talk beta alanine. Yeah, but I, if I remember, I'm not a massive beta alanine fan. Like whenever I get too, whenever I start feeling kind of my face a little too much, I just get a little uncomfortable. So we have first access to an ingredient that you stack a beta alanine that eliminates, or depending on what ratio you dose it in um, with beta alanine will limit the tingles. Look, we have, to, we have to decide if this is gonna be a one scoop or a one and two scoop. Cause I still think one and two scoops are the best way to take a product. I really do. But I so, but for a hard hitter, right. the elimination yeah, one, I think it's just go one full scoop's gonna get you going. Yeah. Don't take any more than that. The problem with somnotropics in a pre-workout setting is there's a fine line between a focus and actually something that just mellows you out. More than anything, I mean, anecdotally, you're gonna stack up a beta alanine and you're gonna be like, dude, I just took 6.4 grams of beta alanine. And, and, what are the, what are the, and the best part is for the channel, I'm gonna with Ryan and we're gonna forget this ingredient one time and Ryan's gonna <laughs> yeah. take the full six four and just be like ah, 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 ah. <laughs> two launches that I wanted to roll this summer will be your collabs and I say collabs because with you 100% we're bringing back mango because everyone like that was like insane and we're gonna bring it back for some global markets as well which never got it introduce a new flavor which is very summery as well and then the only other thing we're going to do this summer is going to be coconut ice cream oh i tried i sampled that at the uh the labs yeah, yeah, yeah really yeah so they missed the they missed the little hint of well in this i mean th this, this still isn't bad i think th this should be a little more pinky yeah and then when you think about the label the same type of thing we did and then we we'll, got we'll select a new picture of you the character this year really just keep doing that the same face just do a just different drink that'd be like that'd be like the signature face like that's cool straight straight sweetness 
The, like I think the, the Vesa Drive edition to Core Legend was awesome. Everyone loved it. Super flexible product. Like so, Legends crushing it. So that's awesome. But with you, it's more about continuing that, but new flavor. Well, and the, the frozen drink concept's pretty, pretty awesome. Yeah, so you'll be able to launch it on our Australia site and launch it on our European site. So I think that that's kind of the goal. Cool. I think summer's good. I think summer's good timing. Okay. The only thing I was thinking, I was like, Christian's, Christian's already launched V2. We haven't launched V2 for me, but it makes more sense to launch it in summer. Yeah. Even though I can drink year round. Christian, March 7th, too, we got cinnamon cereal milk launching. Ooh. Is that a, just, that's not a brand, right? That's just cinnamon. That's like a standard flavor. Cereal milk's our brand. Yeah. Yeah, we, uh, we have a couple of cereal milk flavors, too. <laughs> yeah, like, we have a few, yeah. And the next, I think, SPK flavors. And then it's like summertime, so coconut ice cream and then mango mark. You tried Welch's? You tried Welch's? Yeah, really liked it. Yeah, I mean, because we went totally different than any grape supplement. It's more like true to juice, a little more subtle. No, really, really good. And I, I sat on the pre-workout for like two weeks after you gave it to me. I forgot I had it in my, my suitcase and I tried it. I was like, she is good, man. All right, enough of these meat sticks. Jazzy's texting me, she's over at the gym. Oh, go say what's up to her. <laughs> hey guys, you ready to get this booty workout with me? Let's go. Original goal was to uh, get a workout in today, but instead we let we let Jazzy take it for us. Yeah. Ryan's getting good. smaller by the day, by the minute. I'm sure you crushed the workout for us. Oh yeah, it was really, really good. Really, really we really haven't good. worked out on the channel in two years. <laughs> so, so the great idea was to just have Jazzy, Jazzy work out on the channel. Yeah. Works. Sick. All right, see you guys back in Chicago. So uh, see you guys back in Chicago. See you guys back in Chicago. See you guys back in Chicago. That, is that the one? You feel good about that one? Oh God, this is so <laughs> stressful, dude. <laughs>